Elizabeth Chandler and today I'm going to be talking about things that need to stay out of 2015. Um, I made a similar video last year but I have been requested to make one about this year. Happy New Year's by the way. Uh, this was requested by Alicia Alicia Reboleto. That's a nice name. I just want to let you know that. I hope I'm pronouncing it right by the way. You guys like my shirt? Read it. Read it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Let it sink in. Number one, relationship goals. Okay, so you say that the fault in our stars and Beyonce and Jay-Z are your relationship goals. So are we gonna forget that Jay-Z cheated on Beyonce? And also are we gonna forget that Hazel Grace and Augustus are cancer patients? So you guys don't even have cancer. And on top of that, one of them dies at the end, so is that what it is? Is that your goal? Emoji fits. Okay, so if I see you wearing emoji joggers, an emoji crew neck, wearing an emoji backpack, or an emoji shirt, you are automatically getting heated. Looking like iOS 7. Walking around like a keyboard. New year, new me. Flippograms. 2K14 memories. I'm leaving you in 2014. Let me, let me please announce to you that no one cares. And please do not get me started on this new year, new me crap. Y'all say this every year. What, you mean to tell me that you're a new person every year? With your multiple personalities. And no, you are not leaving me in 2014 because I am still on your newsfeed. Let's also not forget that you clicked this video. But I mean, it's cool, you can leave me in 2014, I don't care, I'll leave you back there too. Air Apostle. Number five, the racist jokes. And by racist, I mean the black jokes, the slave jokes, the gay jokes, the white jokes, lawn jokes etc. And even the light skin, dark skin jokes. Can you please explain to me how are you gonna make jokes about your own ethnicity? That is the most, that is, mm, that is by far the dumbest thing anyone could do. I mean, it's not racist or anything, it's just flat out ignorant. If you don't want other races making fun of your own race, why are you making fun of your own race? It just gives them a right to do it. It gives them a reason to do it too. And then you wonder why you got a bunch of stereotypes and crap. It's almost like you guys are feeding into that stuff. You're letting it happen by making fun of your own race. Number six, people who think they have the right to say the n-word when they are not african-american to be honest i used to not care this would never get to me if you're not racist and i know that you're cool then go ahead say the n-word i don't care but now i do because people seem to be misusing the word one time i saw this video of these two white girls about to fight and within like every two words they said would be the n-word n here n here i'll beat your i'll beat your butt n what? Not only that, but let's please not forget where that word came from. Is it just me? Like, I'm not even fully black. Do I have to be fully black to understand? No. I'm also sick of hearing that. Whenever I stick up for African Americans, Black Lives Matter, woohoo, blah, 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 they're like, you're not even fully black. Do I have to be fully black? Do I even have to be black? No, I don't. You talk like a white person. You act black. Can someone please explain to me how you can act black? I never really understood the meaning of that. So please put in the comments below if any of y'all know how to act black. Comment below and tell me how to act black. You cannot act black. You cannot act white. You cannot act Asian. You cannot act anything. But you can't act yourself if any of you guys could even do that, honestly. Because half of y'all don't even act like your own person. One thing that I feel that needs to stay in 2014 is the interview. Can we please keep that back there because... Oh, God, just leave it, leave it. God. What number was this? Crap, who cares? And the next one is thought pages. Can you guys stop making thought pages, honestly? It's gonna, I mean, I never really thought it was funny, but I mean, there were parts that were kind of funny, but I mean, it's rude, it's just rude. And whoever made it was, it's just so, mm. you must hate your life. I feel like if you made a thought list, you hate your life. Like you have nothing to do with it, but expose other girls and you will never come out and say who you are. It's always someone private and crap making the pages. Like, okay, you can expose all these girls, but I bet you won't tell people that it was you. Like, I'm so sick of that stuff. Come on, that's old. And whoever invented the word thought, please go away. Like, people keep coming up with all these slang words that I don't understand. Last but not least, fake people. Why on earth would you talk crap about somebody that is your friend or in your squad? I swear, one thing I hate most is going out with a group of people. And of course, there's always that one person that can't come or has to stay home or gets grounded or something. And then they end up talking crap about that person. 
I'm like, you wouldn't be saying these things if that person was there. And I'm just sitting here like, dang, like, what if I didn't show up? Are you guys gonna talk about me? Like, what do you guys say about me when I'm not around? This is why you can't hang out with a big group of people, because whenever one person that's in that group isn't there, they're always getting talked about. And there were quite a few times where I couldn't go out, actually a lot, because I'm always staying home. And Lord knows who said things about me or what they said. But like, why on earth would you talk bad about someone who has your back, who has respect for you, who would go out of their way to do anything for you, and who tolerates you. I would never say anything rude about somebody that was my friend. I'm gonna be real, I've talked about friends before, that's kind of what people do. We're females, duh. Well, some of us are anyways. And females talk crap about people, so what? I'm not saying you're fake if you talk about people, because at the end of the day, that's something that we're always gonna do. We're always gonna talk about people, that's fine. Why would you talk about somebody that is your friend? It's cool, like, if I don't like you, I'm gonna go tell my friend I don't like you. Like, that's what we do, you know? I'm sorry, I hate to admit it. I'll talk about you if I don't like you. But if you are my friend, and I don't like you, I'll tell you I don't like you, and we won't be friends anymore. And then, you know, you can go ahead and talk as much crap as you want to, but don't talk about somebody and then smile in their face later, because I can't stand that. In my opinion, if you have a huge group of friends, you're almost setting yourself up to be talked about. And by a huge group, I mean like maybe five or up. Literally, five friends is too much, that's my opinion. I can't deal with that many people. A lot of people already know that I'm not a people person. I mean, I'm nice when you get to know me and everything like that. Oh, I'll be like, hi, I'm Chandler. You know, I'm a sweet person, I'm not rude. But I'm not trying to get close to anybody anymore because I learned my lesson. You can't get close to anybody. And you might even be getting dragged into other people's problems. I don't have as much friends as I used to. And that's a huge change that I had to make. It is very, very hard to go from having a bunch of friends and popularity to barely any friends and no popularity. But hey, that's the change I had to make as a young lady. If I'm not trying to be in your crap and your drama, I'm going to have no friends and I'm just going to cut myself off and just be like, nope. See ya. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, give me back my clothes, yeah. But hey, I'm glad I made that change because now I'm drama free. I don't have to worry about anything. And I can actually focus on school more and I can make time to make my videos and I'll have to be sucked into your drama and it feels good. <sighs> well, enough of that deep stuff. What's happened to the... Now, <laughs> now let's talk about the good stuff that happened in 2014. I'd say one of the funniest things that happened in 2014 was Kermit the Frog. Kermit, my man. I swear, all of those pictures that you guys made about Kermit was the funniest thing ever, I swear. But that is none of my business. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just click the link in the- ah, click. Click the link in the description below and a bunch of Kermit pictures will come up and you'll understand. You'll probably pee your pants because it's funny. The second good thing that has happened was the Karushi names. Karushi? Karuchi? I think it's Karuchi. I think it's Karuchi, but I might be wrong. I thought it was Karuchi the whole time. I could be saying it right. I could be saying it wrong. I don't know. So recently, Chris Brown exposed his ex-girlfriend, Karuchi, which isn't really the funny part. That's not good. But ever since then, people have been making like these nicknames about her, and they are so funny. Barati, Cockroach, Cappuccino, Klu Klux Tran, Coochie Coochie Coo, California Roll, Chemotherapy, Kung Fu Panda, Crab Shack, Car- Cara, Cara Fragil, wait, Cara Califragilistic Espialidocious, Cabbage Patchy, Kali Wally Doodle All Day, Kamagachi, Kuntikente, Kentucky, Captain Crunch, Cucumber, Carbohydrate, Karaoke. See, I could go on forever, it is just, ooh, that's the funniest thing ever to me. I'm literally peeing. And the last thing I have to say is my YouTube channel. So I started making YouTube videos, it was on New Year's Day. And I would like to say that I'm really glad that I started making YouTube videos. It's honestly one of the best things I've ever did in my opinion. It's really the only thing that makes me happy. I love videotaping and I love editing the videos and posting them on YouTube. And I really, really love the nice comments. I've had people send me kick messages before and they DM'd me on Instagram, comment under my photos, comment under my videos, and they're just like, you're gonna be big one day, and they say the nicest things. I have had girls tell me that I'm their inspiration, and it makes me so happy, and I just love it. <laughs> you guys are so sweet. If someone took away my YouTube channel, like, if YouTube banned me for you from YouTube, or if I had to delete my YouTube channel, I would be heartbroken. I love making YouTube videos, and I just love the comments you guys give me, and I love putting myself out there. Like, my goal is to be famous one day. I do love the attention, I, I'm not an attention seeker if that's what you think, but I'm just saying it feels freaking good to have people actually appreciate you for being yourself. And I just love it and I would hate it if that got taken away from me. And it feels so good that I'm 
almost to 3k subscribers. I know that doesn't sound like a lot because it isn't a lot, but it does feel good that my channel is gradually growing. So I'd like to say thank you for some of you guys who were supporting me. But those are probably the only good things that have happened this year, in my opinion, if you want me to be honest with you. Now let's talk about my New Year's resolution. Uh, my New Year's resolution would be to get 10,000 subscribers. If you've been watching my videos, at the end of some of my videos, I would put, you know, subscribe, help me get 10,000 subscribers. And I am almost there. No, I'm not really. No, I have about 7,000 more to go. But I'm getting there, so, and I know I will. Maybe not this year, maybe 20 years from now, but I will, I promise. And another goal I have is to complete T25. Jeez, what are they doing up there? T25 is from Insanity, it's a workout video, and it's only 25 minutes, I think. Yeah, it's only 25 minutes and about, I think it's about three months, a month, something like that. And I've been saying I wanted to do it ever since the beginning of the year, but I haven't had the time. Just so loud. But I haven't had the time because of school, so that's something I would like to complete because every time I try to do P90X or Insanity for like three months long, I end up doing it for one week and I end up quitting because I'm always procrastinating, blah, blah, blah. The third thing is to pass my classes. And the thing is, I already reached that goal. I passed all of my classes this semester, but at ECA, like I said before, it's not just about passing. Like, the teachers have to feel that you're ready for college to let you move to the next class. Like, it's really weird. Like, it's really weird at ECA. And apparently the teachers felt like I'm not college ready, so I have to stay in the classes, and it really does suck. I mean, I feel like I participated enough to go on, but they don't, so I have to stay in some of my classes. Some of my classes I'm moving up a bit, but they're still hard classes, they're not college classes. So one of my goals would be get out of those classes and to go on to college classes. Don't you hate it when at school in the beginning of the year the teachers just like, write down your goals for the year and then we all write down get straight A's past the class and she's like don't write down let's get straight A's I'm just like what else do you want me to write I just hate it when the teacher's just like nope don't say straight A's that's what I'm going to say what else do you want me to say make it in the chess club like no anyway guys thank you guys for watching peace out 2014 and hello tragic 2015